welcome dear student on my channel so today we'll see about the study of hydrilla plant so this question is there for the identification for question number four okay so here this plant is called as a hydrophyte hydrophyte means what this plant is a living in the water it is a submerged hydrophyte so submerged means what which is a entirely under the water which grow entirely under the water that's why it is called as a submerged hydrophytes so here this plant is a grown in the aquarium small baby fish are there to get the maximum oxygen for that purpose it is used in the aquarium as well as it increase the beauty of the this fish tank also so you can see the small baby fish are there so they can get the hiding place in between the leaves of that hydrilla plant it is a perennial herb perennial herb means what which grow more than 2 years now we can observe that here it is a branch having the stem which is a weak stem this stem is a branch it is a slender stem it is a soft it is a weak we can observe the leaves are there the leaves crown of the leaves oh sorry whorls of the leaves are there so at each nodal region here i am removing the sticks of the hydrilla plant to study easily this i will bring it at home and then we'll see so this is about the stem of each now this is what the hydrilla plant i have brought it from the aquarium okay so here for the study purpose so this plant is there it is a submerged hydrophyte it is a hydrophyte it is submerged submerged means what it is present under the water we have learned about the ecornia plant so in the previous video in that ecornia plant which is a free floating floating above the water okay but this plant is there which is a under the water so it is submerged one is there okay so entirely under the water it is a perennial herb it is a perennial perennial means what its life is more than 2 years and it is a herb it covers the whole area sometimes under the water either in the pond or in the in in the lake also now it is attached to the substratum by the poorly developed it's a uh, advantageous roots now this at the nodal region at the nodal region it produces some advantageous roots and that roots are there which are fixing this plant to the substratum okay now here it is a fresh water where we find it is in the lake as well as in the pond also the stem is there which is a slender if you see that the stem is a, it is a slender stem and it is a soft here it don't shows any mechanical tissue that's why it cannot stand erect so here if i leave like that here it drops down so here hence it limbs down so when we take an out from the water it limbs down because the mechanical tissue is a uh, absent in this okay now here the leaves are there if you see the leaf so if you observe the leaves are there this what are the leaves are there which are at the nodal region which are from the 3 to 10 which are in the form of the whorl at the each nodal region these leaves are there which are thin and the membranous so here if you observe which are the thin and they are the membranous leaves are there okay which are arranged in the whorls so these leaves are there which lack the cuticle do not have any cuticle do not have any stomata over it entire plant is there which is get covered by the mucilage whatever the substance is there which protects the this plant body from the rottening of effect of the water okay so so this is what we have learned about the hydrilla plant we can watch the again properly so you can get the clear idea about the same here i will zoom this so you can watch clearly how the arrangement is there about the leaves so they are in the oral form here also you can watch so this plants are there hydrilla plants mostly they grow in the fish tank so here for getting the oxygen to the fish as well as it increase the beauty of the this fish tank also so this is about the hydrilla plant what we have learned The name of this plant that is a hydrilla verticillata so hydrilla that is a name of the genus and the verticillata that is a species name this plant is also called as a water thyme okay so which grows in the 
fresh water that is in the pond or in the lake okay so this is what of the information about the hydrilla plant okay if you like my channel subscribe and share with your friends so that everyone can get the benefit of the same and watch my other videos also about the practicals as well as about the diagrams as well as about the different information of the different plants thank you